Aurelia as you can see here Head to your browser, type in VS Code, and yeah, after you've done that, just browse with this VS Code file installed. This is the third video for the automation part. So now you choose your operating system here. Installing it as you can see, just install that one there, and then now you wait for that. Let's just wait together. So, why is it necessary for us to have Visual Studio uh, code installed? Well, first, it's gonna be uh, much easier for us to work with it, especially I'm um, comfortable working with with it, and it's easy to um, auto play. So automation is there. Secondly, we'll be t using different uh, uh, scripts, uh, different files. We'll be using the object oriented uh, structures packages structures and packages uh, such as numpy um, pandas uh, tensorflow scikit-learn there's been more and more and more so uh, as you can see some visual studio is already running on my system please install it when you done install it cancel when you're done installing it now, what you want to do, you just want to open code and open it. Right, you want to save it, you want to open that code. And then now, uh, once you, your application is open, or fortunately for me, it just popped in another side. There is it, there is it. So from here, uh, in the think in the video below, I'll leave a, a link where you can get this source code to test if your your IQ option uh, API is successfully installed. So what you do, you just go where the folder is. Uh, fortunately, mine is here. So I'll, not just, I'll use this one on desktop. Is uh, where is that one? I think it's this one. I'm not sure. Or this one. Okay. Let's see. Oh, sorry for that. Okay. And then now uh, something. Exactly. Now you have these two folder. Just open the one. Uh, okay. Mine was real. Let's just make this one practice. Uh, uh, please, guys, ensure that you have your option API uh, or, or API installed your IQ option uh, application installed on your system just to see the, the 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 profit and see everything you have of course you will need the IQ option uh, application to see that oh look at that I'm broke so now that you have here, as you can see, it's 250 here. Um, what you want now is to, oh, okay, interesting. 
yes as you can see it's practice let's see let's see um fortunately Um, I'm kind of stuck. Okay, Just in case. So now what we wanna to see if our uh, API was installed successfully. What you're going to do? You just gonna say um. You wanna return this um malium so that's a balance so I wanna print the balance of course oh, it's gonna be in dollars you wanna Gonna say it's a string to avoid any error concatenation. Then we're gonna say Malia. So if this code works, then you will be able to see this amount here displayed, uh, printed in a console. But now, now that I have a job should install sire what must i do i'm here now i want you to pay attention now as you can see um on top right there in that corner there's a run python file in terminal once you press that button your automated uh process has started now look at the power behind that as you can see no need for you to type things on your computer oh thank you as you can see the error i was telling everyone about but it's common error so most of you are panic and explode Boom! and they said nah this thing's not for me nah you need to chill uh, sometimes what you need to do it's uh just say go here then on top oh, start debug this is what happens just python file run it uh, okay let's see are we gonna experience the same error again don't worry, these things uh, take their time. Just gonna wait and see. Okay, what do we have here? Tonari Nadi. Yeah. So it says WebSocket. So if you are experiencing this error, don't mind, just cancel that. Now, I want you to do, um, where I'll be uploading the source, the first source code, also inside there will be a readme file, please go through it, that might help you a lot. So now, we're just gonna go, yes, just gonna go to your
that socket here. Go to line 30, copy that pip install web socket client 0, 56. These APIs, guys, if your environment is not a uh, Uh, yeah, if your environment is not used to run these files or the catching part, um, is not yet being like fully cached by the system. It's hard, even if you installed. As you can see, mine. What look it says using. Uh, sorry, it said collecting web socket, and then it said using cached web socket this means if it's cached that means it's already in my uh, python files but it's not yet uh, fully recognized for for other reasons or i don't know but yeah let's try again uh, this is to test after this one now uh, I'll show you a quick strategy on how to get this uh, your option robot and I'll show you how to extend on this one that you'll be getting yes I'll oh there we go see now it's successfully installed no please wait while you locate your formation then that's my dollar right there it's 250 as you can see it's 250 okay as you can see in here in here if i'd say i would say this thing oh okay my time is six minutes Oh, this is how much I have now. I have ten dollars. Interesting. Let's see. Let's try that again. Uh, CLS. Let me show you something. Uh, see, the balance is ten dollar. Let's check. Let's just check first. Uh, um, to see. Yes, it's gonna be ten dollar. Mm. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna play that thing right there, guys. We're gonna go far with this, trust me. I see it's ten dollars. Okay, now see you on the other video. <laughs>